welcome to the Happy Hooker YouTube channel. Uh, today, uh, it's day two on the Isle of Man, and as we said, it, it's coming up for six, maybe half six now. Uh, we're gonna, we've come back to the Battery Pier. Yeah. Uh, there's all the boats, we're just ready for going out and stuff. Uh, we're gonna try for a conga. Now I'm gonna face it out and out for a conga, I think. I'm not gonna try with anything else. Uh, now, these two lads, one of them's just missed one. Nice. <laughs> and I caught the seal. And he caught the seal. Really? Nobody really? likes to see that happen. <laughs> um, I better get my kit out of that, aren't I? I'll get it set up before it goes dark and uh, I can get it cobbed in. Let's get a conga caught. See you in a bit, guys. Right, guys, I can't see what you are seeing at all. I'll uh, put the light there so it's right in my eyes. Um, this lad here, what's, what's your name? I'm Ryan. Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> Ryan the Rodgerer. Yeah. Has <laughs> <laughs> just uh, he had a conga before. Yeah. Uh, he's just had another one. Yeah. Now he's telling me it's head were like that, and yeah. it's just come up, shook its head, I, I smashed his line, eighty pound, uh, yeah. got an eighty pound wire. Yeah, got the trace here. Look at this. Clean off. Eighty pound mono. Well, it's eighty pound mono. Yeah. So it's done him. So what I've done is, I've, I've rooted one of my torp traces out, out of my boat box. Uh, I've got my torp, I've got a sliding, I'm fishing basically the same as um, as I'd fish on the boat for the torp. I, I think there's something like that. I've got a slider, uh, down to 200 pound mono. And then, I'm not sure what size these are. I think these are a 10 or, a, or an eight. Uh, the Mitsu, uh, the Sukuma, Sukuma Mitsu, Turkles or whatever you want to call them. I'm going to stick a nice bit of mackerel on. So it's already here, we've got a big bucket full of fresh mackerel. Uh, drop it down the wall and let's see what happens, eh? Get ready for the fireworks, guys! Right, we've got Ram Rampant Ryan and, and Ethan. I've not even thought of a name for him yet, but I'm gonna, oh, he's having one soon. Uh, they've just come over to me now and they said, Yeah, Mr. Hooker, we've, uh, we've, we've grabbed some money here for your uh, to, to collection selection. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. I no really problem. do appreciate that. No problem. And they give you a load of mackerel and they show me where to fish. Yeah. Can't beat this, can you? <laughs> you got listen, guys. Wherever you go, in the country, in the world, you're never ever gonna beat local knowledge ever. If if you can get on with someone that's local to where you're fishing, and uh, and, and they can take you and show you a few bits and bobs, uh, more often than not, you're on to a winner. Trust me, it's as easy as that. Right, guys. There's my first bait. Ready to rock and roll. Half a mackerel. Uh, now what I've done is. Uh, I'm sure you can see that, I'm getting too bright. Uh, what I've done is, I watched uh, That's a Bike Mike the other day. Um, what he does, he, he hooks it through and then he puts a slit in it so that your hook buries in it. So in essence you end up with a nice hook point like that and then the back one. Now it is a bit thick this, I can't wrap it round it, it just keeps springing off. So it is just being shoved through the back of it. Easy as that. Oh, uh, I need a weight on don't I? It'll help if I put a weight on. Or do I need a weight? Yeah, we need a weight. Uh, I'll get I'll get set up. What do we do here, Ethan? Do we just drop it down the edge of the wall? Yeah, straight down. Just the straight down, and that's yeah, it. And I'll, I'll wait for the fireworks. Can't wait for this. All right, guys, it it's in. Sorry, I've, I've, I'm blinding myself. Let me just turn that torch down. That is the uh, I forgot what it's called. The Army Tech one. The uh, Wizard, I think it's called. Uh, I know that if you do go on Army Tech site, I think it's called the G2 Wizard. I know that if you go on their site. And put in Happy Hooker 15, you get 15% off all the products. Um, it's been a long time since I mentioned that, hasn't it? But it is worth mentioning if anybody does want anything. Uh, I mean, look at the difference here. I will show you. It's got about it's got about four settings. Right, so there's one, two, one, two, three, and then four. That's stupid bright, but it but it does eat the battery a bit. Something you need to be aware of. Yeah, we'll have it on that. And it is just blinding me. I'm dropped in now. Been in about 30 seconds and I'm not on a bike. What's going on? Get off the light. <laughs> Tommy's shouting at me again. He's always shouting at me. He's a bully. You're not better. Yeah, done it. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard this? Have you heard the abuse that I have to take? <laughs> Don't call me a fat ass. Rampant over here, I'll be looking at me funny. <laughs> oh! I've got feelings. Come on, let the fish! I'll bring you back in when something's happening. Or I'll bring you back in if nothing's happening. One of the two. 
Here we go, guys. Let me just see what you're seeing in the camera. There's rampant Ryan's Road. Somebody's getting some inquiries here now. He's just moved from around the corner so Tommy can get there. The second he's put his rod in here, <laughs> looks like he's going again. We'll leave you on for a few minutes for this because sometimes they pick it up and play with it. And Yeah, that's what I had there last night when I, I was going for them. And I had one run and I dropped it. Oh. Yeah. oh, there we go again. Oh, look at him, he's eager beaver in here. Come on. <laughs> I'm just going to turn the camera at a fraction, but there you go, I've got him in camera shot as well now. We'll, we'll put it a bit. There it goes again, I'll try and get it. <laughs> I'm willing it to go for you. Well, I think, yeah. We did this, Tommy. I hope it's not another bloody lobster, because I had that last night. I hope it's a lobster. Caught a lobster <laughs> last night, but did it, you? it was gammy. It had holes in it. it was a bit, yeah, I only had one claw. So it's been... Uh... But this what happened last night when I was in that corner and I had one run, it was, it was playing with it. And I could feel it on, and then all of a sudden it just went slack again. Ah, uh, just spat it. <coughs> yeah, see it's. Yeah, someone having a mess with it, isn't there? Yeah. I am going to leave you on, guys. Tomorrow we're out with a lad called Jay Turner, I think. Oh. Huh? Jay Taylor. Taylor, Jay Taylor is going to take us out somewhere and um, show us the area of our ways. And then tomorrow night we're going home. Well, that's if the ferry lets us. If it doesn't, it looks like we'll have to have another day's fishing, doesn't it? <laughs> we're supposed to be kicking up a little bit of wind tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure where he's taking us or what we're fishing for, but uh, yeah, it's he's, he, he's a nice lad and, and I'm getting an inquiry on mine now. Yeah. Oh, let me just turn that light down because it will eat my battery. There we go, just a little bit lower. My rod's having a little bit of a ding and a dong, which is only there. So, I will keep you on this one because that one's been having a bit more inquiries. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, I'm all excitable, guys! I feel like a little child in a sweet shop and don't know which way to go. <laughs> I don't think I have ever caught a conga from land, guys. I've had a few off my boat, but that were only when Aaron the Oracle um, took me out on my... Well, he, he came on my boat, I just gave him the keys and said, there you go, you're the, you're the charter boat skipper. Uh, he runs Bad Boys Charters from uh, Anglesey, so, and he's probably the best skipper I have ever, ever been on board with. So, if you do want a charter boat from Anglesey, look him up, Bad Boys Charters. But uh, he came on my boat, took me out, got me a load of spur dogs, in fact, there is a video, uh, no, it's not before I started filming for YouTube. Um, but yeah, the, the, the congas we were getting were like 25, 30 pound. Uh, we had some taupe on the boat, all sorts, and that was mid-November, that out of all head. So, sorry guys, I know I keep turning around, I'm just watching my rod. I don't want to lose my pen tidal over the walls of a conga. Has yours gone quiet? Yeah, it's gone quiet. It's gone quiet, never mind. Any, any inquiries, Tommy? No. I'll just turn you around. Tommy, Tommy's over there like a little gnome. Light you up a bit more. There we go. And we've got Ethan the Earwig's rod in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan the Earwig, that's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'm going to turn you off, guys, until something starts happening. I hope you're as excitable as me. Right, guys. Now, as per usual, bring it a bit. Let me turn, I'll just turn the light up a bit. There we go. As per usual, I've just walked back down to the van to get my drink. While I was there, Ramford Ryan's rod went berserk. Got to stay to that. Yeah. Guaranteed, while you're not there, something happens, innit? Back in, go again. That's a nice pink lead, innit? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> no comment! <laughs> <laughs> right, back to it. Bit of action here, guys. Tommy's just had a good bite. He's, uh, he's hooked into something. It's running in a snag. So, it's just going to give it a bit of slack and see if it comes out. It'll be nice, won't it? Everybody's getting bites, except me! What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, I wasn't meant to turn you on them. <laughs> now I have to, I only have to stay on for a minute. I was turning the light on so we could see um, the earwigs uh, rod at the end. 
if you suspected hearing something. Um, look what we've got! Some nice lug worms! I got them in last year, haven't I? Well, they're out there! <laughs> Mike has just brought them over. Where is he? Is he somewhere? There we go. Thank you very much, Mike. Went out and dug them for no us worries, today. <laughs> He's only wants a tenner a worm. Uh. <laughs> so they'll be getting put to good use either. Either Tommy's gonna. What are you setting up for them now, Tommy? Thinking of changing the rig. Yeah, right. Right. I think Tommy might be using them tonight, and if not, they will definitely be getting used tomorrow. Um, got a few early on in the summer in the Adderbeek. I'll set up a cast back in. Tommy setting up. He lost it. He lost it. It cracked off. No, but he likes to see that happen. Yeah. Is that many? Um, so today I thought. I have to be careful with Tommy today. Apparently, I snowed him to death last night. <laughs> Kept him up all night. You've never seen anything as grumpy in all your life. God help us if Liverpool lose the football yeah, yeah, yeah. game tonight. Places, um, <laughs> what time are they playing, Tommy? Eight o'clock. So, I don't know what time it is, there it is. You've got to have a big time. 20 past seven. So we will know very shortly, won't we? That's why I think I'm sure there's going to be more fish yet. We'll see. The earwigs rod has just screamed off. Have you got it? Somebody had to get the off. It's come off. Has it come off? Ethan! No, but my rod's off, or have you got it? Oh, nobody oh. likes to see that happen, did he? <laughs> that had a proper, proper scream yeah. then. I couldn't get the camera on quick enough. It was... That's my camera pop, I'll just keep kicking it over. I didn't want it anyway. Never mind. It's all action here, guys. Just as I turned the camera off. You've missed it, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, the rampant one has missed it. Rampant <laughs> Ryan missed another one. <laughs> I might as well just leave this camera on, aren't I? <laughs> I might still not gone proper. It will, it'll happen. <laughs> Nothing happening yet. It's been quiet for about 10 minutes since we've had that little flurry of uh, bites. I've just brought me, I've just brought me bait a bit closer to the wall because I was informed, listen to this for a book of dirty tricks. <laughs> They've been pre-baiting this wall here for the last couple of days. Um, and then they told me, cast it over there. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just brought it in a bit closer. Hopefully that'll be the difference because that's why I had that bite a minute ago. So let's just see her. Uh, Ethan's reel keeps having a bit of a ratchet here. I've done it about four times now, guys. Can we see? You should be able to see his rod. There we go. He's having a feel at it. We do like having a little bit of a feel, don't we? <laughs> you see, the thing is, you've got, you've got all the anglers now, they're moaning and groaning about the seals, right? And they say, you know, that, that's why you've got no salmon in the rivers. That's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you. Could hear these two at back at camera putting the world to rights. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can tell you for that. Has it started? Mike, come back. I don't know about here, but Max. Oh, it's all very exciting, this, guys. I'm really enjoying this, to be fair. When I was here, I'm not catching any fish yet, but I'm finding it exciting. Let's have a quick nosey at the ferry, setting off from Isle of Man over towards Asia.
just look at how it gracefully turns on a six punch. It never ceases to amaze me how such a great lump of metal can stay afloat on the water. I must admit, she is a very good looking vessel. She's only 12 months old and they've already banged her on something. <laughs> she nearly as good looking as me. Well, I was saying it's gone quiet for 20 minutes or so. That little run that Ethan had, it's run itself into the rocks. <laughs> We're not doing very good, are we? What I'll do is, I, if it comes out, if he manages to get it back, I'll uh, switch. I'll switch you back on, guys. Hey! hey. Tommy's got the first fish of the evening. What is it? It's a pollock. It's a conga bait. That's what it is. Which one's it? Do you want it? Uh, throw it next to that one. I'll, I'll put it on next. That's a good conga bait. Well done, Tommy. Tommy the turn does it again. <laughs> Tommy has some blanks. <laughs> well done, Tommy. Cheers. Still nothing happening. He's still struggling with that. He's going for a pot. He's going for a crack off now. Well guys, I didn't have time to switch, let me just turn that light down. I didn't have time to uh, switch the light on and the camera on then, but I've just been sitting off. Something's took it and, and swam in the wall and I could not get it back. What for, love the money. <laughs> These things happen, back at it, new shock leader. Uh, get set up, let's try again. That's all we can do. Right guys, we're set and ready to go again. Ethan's got another uh, inquiry there. I'm going to shift this just a little bit that way this time. Because it felt like, when I was pulling on it, it felt like there was a rope or something coming up with it. Uh, don't know what was quite going on there. I'm just going to shift it over there. Yeah, that's where I was getting the decent... <clears throat> now, I'm having a conga. <laughs> and when I do get a conger, I'm going to conger all around the pier with it <laughs> and get everyone joined up. Is it going? <laughs> Go on, Ethan, get one, get, get one slammed up. We need a fish for the fishing video, don't we? <laughs> We are getting taken out in the morning, but looking at the weather, looking at the weather forecast, it's uh, it's certainly not going to be pleasant. So I don't know how long we'll rain, but we'll give it a go. Missed it. <laughs> we'll get you back on here now, Mr. Rampant over there. You all seem to be very quiet lately. Oh, not even in. No. <laughs> we'll be back in shortly. Yeah. I'm having a night. No, no wonder he's not catching out. He's not even in water. <laughs> <laughs> Has it took it proper this time? You got it. Good lad. Here we go. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> to no, but it likes to see that happen. <laughs> oh no! Come on, Ethan, you're coming like. Uh... Don't that twice now. <laughs> oh no! 
Yeah, they've got one of those rubber guards on. You definitely hit it as well, didn't you? Yeah, there's weight on it. I was getting knocked. Oh, <laughs> that's fishing sometimes, guys. That's the way it goes. Well, anybody that goes fishing knows that's how it goes. See you now. <laughs> You'll get one in a minute. Yeah, it's all right for him whinging, he's, he's not poking on proper. Why run, I haven't even gone proper yet! <laughs> he's off again! He's got the, he's got the spot there, has he? Come on, Ethan, get this one in now. Yeah, I played super against again a few times. Yeah. Proper screamer again, weren't it? You got it? I think I'm going to drop my rod right where it is. We seem to have to keep going every 20 seconds. <laughs> Maybe tighten your clutch up a little bit. <laughs> He'll do that in his rod and a little bit water, won't it? <laughs> He keeps getting by, so though. Know. I think I might be sneaking a bit closer and closer that way next time. <laughs> Ryan's rods off. Uh, Ethan's rods off again. That's all that. That's all that. There's obviously there must be one down there that's living in one of the premises. There's something going on here guys. Hopefully you can hit this one. I'll move my rod round to the other side of him by the way. <laughs> They're still not going! Bring out, Tommy. Not too far. You got it? Yeah, Yay! Right, I'll reel mine in. Oh! oh. <laughs> wow, he said. Not again! <laughs> Just look at the camera, Ethan. No. <laughs> look at the camera! <laughs> <laughs> Why did he call him Lucky Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> he's got a catch one in a minute, isn't he? <laughs> Tommy's got something on here. I'll just back you up a bit so you can see him. Does it feel like Tommy? Do you know something? That's where I got stuck before. Yeah, I got stuck on it. Hang on a minute. We'll see you in a second. Look, you snagged on a bit of old line straight down the side. Can you see? Can everyone at home see? Snagged on the stick. Hello, what, a stick? Yeah. Only yeah. it's that stick that I dragged in yesterday. Bunch of old line. But the camera's gone sideways. There we go, that's better. And I've tipped it the other way. Is it a crack off, Tommy? Whatever it is, it's sucked into it. Yeah. I've just lost the full rig on it before. Never mind, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm we're just getting uh, stuff blown about, just picking it all up. He's uh, got a bit quiet. You cup of tea still standing. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that matters, Tommy. As long as Tommy doesn't lose his cup of tea, that's all that matters. We're only going to stay here now another. What time is it? I don't know. Another, another 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Uh, if we've not got one by then, say la vie. But there's been plenty of action. Ethan's demolished about 100 rigs. 
<laughs> Rampant over there has lost a couple. I've, I've lost, lost one. I've lost two. Tommy's lost two. Yeah. They just seem to be very good at when they pick your bait up getting the rocks at the side of you. Uh, I'm sure that someone will get one out shortly. Well, I'm hoping they do anyway. What's going over now? The wind's just picking up a bit. Um, which is making it a bit difficult. But we'll see. That's fishing, guys. That's the way it goes. I'd rather be out here with a, with a lot of people having a bit of fun. That's at home. Doing nothing. Watching TV. Uh, well, I've got you guys. Uh, I've had an absolutely amazing response to the uh, selection collection up to yet. Uh, there's money keeps pouring in and pouring in. Uh, what I'd like you to all, all to do is join me on Facebook. If you look me up on Facebook and uh, add me in as a friend, you'll get more information on the selection collection than you will on the YouTube. Um, what I am, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to raffle off a trip out on a free trip out. Free! Of course it's free, a free trip out on the Apioca for the day. Uh, now you don't have to take it through the winter if you want to, if you think, right, well I'd rather go out in the summer and you win it, you can go out in the summer, that's fair enough. Uh, it's going to be 15 quid a ticket and there will be, I think there's 59 tickets on the lottery and that's how I'll do it, I'll do it off the lottery draw. Um, I'll organise that in a couple of days when I get back and uh, it'll be publicised on my Facebook page so do like I said, do join that and, you, and you'll be able to join in and, and sort things out on there um, I'm also thinking about uh, running a match in Landudno or Conway somewhere where there's going to be a lot of beach where we can get a lot of anglers on also 50 quid a piece in the pot I'll do a small prize for the winner and the rest can go in the selection box also hoodies any hoodies that are bought while i'm doing the collection any profit i make off them that'll be going in there as well so come on guys get your hoodies bought uh don't forget join me on facebook press the like button press the subscribe button press the notification bell uh we're gonna fish on a bit longer yet so hopefully you'll see a fish <laughs> it is a fishy channel after all right guys there's nothing on for the last 20 minutes or so so i'm thinking that's the end of it i'm gonna wrap this video up uh, we are out tomorrow now i know the weather conditions are going to be absolutely horrible so how long we're out for i'm not sure but we will go out and we will make a video um it just doesn't happen tonight has it like i said there's been plenty of action but not much success but that's fishing it doesn't matter i don't care um, so join us again tomorrow well it won't be tomorrow you sit well be a few days when you see it won't it <laughs> but uh, i'll film it make sure you watch it and until next time ta-da for now subscribe